Hi, uh, this is Chris from Review Central and we are here in Munich for Huawei's big reveal. And well, uh, they've just launched their new Huawei Mate 9 smartphone and I have the sample unit right here uh, which was uh, given to us for an unboxing and review. So let's just open up the box and see what's inside. The Mate 9 uh, which is Huawei's flagship device and it is positioned above the P9 series of smartphones. Let's just remove the phone and put it aside and let's see what's inside the box. So we have two other boxes as well, let's open up that. So in this box we get phone case which is quite good it's it's plastic but um, the quality of the case uh, seems to be quite good and then we get some sort of paperwork as well so yeah that's a quick start guide let's open up the other box You will find the charging cable. The charging cable is a USB C uh, Type C charging cable. You also get the, uh, the Huawei uh, headphones as well along with the device. And uh, you have the Huawei Supercharge um, adapter and I've got it also comes with the SIM removal tool. So inside the box you get the Huawei Mate 9 smartphone along with a bunch of accessories. The accessories include uh, the phone case uh, which, is, uh, which is made of plastic but uh, seems to be of good build quality. You also get the Huawei Supercharge uh, adapter. Uh, you also get a USB uh, type C uh, cable, uh, charger cable. Um, a pair of uh, earphones, the quick start guide and you also get a SIM removal tool. So let's have a closer look at the Huawei uh, Mate 9. Uh, the Huawei Mate 9 uh, as we said on, on first looks it looks quite good. It has a uni body design that's sleek and solid as rock. The overall build quality of the phone is quite good. Uh, the phone comes with a 5.9 inch uh, full HD display. Uh, on the left, you will see the SIM tray, uh, which also takes in, which takes in either dual SIMs or one SIM and a micro SD. Um, on the on 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 the bottom, uh, you will see the USB Type C connector along with two uh, speaker grills. On the right edge, you will find the power button and the volume rockers, of course. And on the top, you will see an IR blaster and a 3.5 mm audio jack. On the back uh, of the Mate 9, you will find a dual camera setup uh, which is powered by Leica, uh, which is quite uh, similar to what we've seen on the P9 series of phones from Huawei. Uh, the camera system includes a 12 MP RGB sensor and a 20 MP monochrome sensor. Just below the camera module, you will see the fingerprint uh, sensor as well. And on the right, uh, of the camera module you will see a 4-in-1 four, four uh, focus module which includes a phase detection system and a laser focus system which is powering up the phone now to go through the setup process uh, the phone comes with a 4000 milliampere battery inside and Huawei claims that the phone offers more than uh, one and a half uh, days worth of uh, battery life on a single charge Under the hood, uh, the phone runs on Huawei's own Kirin 960 processor, which is the latest processor from the smartphone manufacturer. Uh, in terms of memory, this particular model packs in 4GB of RAM and 64GB of built-in storage. The storage can be further expanded to up to 256GB uh, worth of uh, storage space using a micro SD slot.
so there you go this is how the the screen uh, the, the the home screen on the huawei mate 9 looks like it's quite good it's quite fluid and uh, you will see that it's it's, it's a typical it's a, it's a very familiar huawei like uh, user interface so uh, that's all for now stay tuned for a full-on review on reviewcentralme.com